Hey everyone, it's Gail. I'm kind of between projects and so I decided to catch up on my own journaling. Um, this is my book that I have kept track of my junk journaling friends in, um, in this book. Uh, various sweet ladies that have sent me awesome, awesome things. Um, in happy mail and so just kind of making pages with with some of their stuff so um, I am gonna start out this batch of stuff I'm pretty sure yep it's from Sally and so um, I've decided to I had some things here for Susan I kind of want to keep this page of the bunny and so I'm gonna work over here so, um, I just kind of was, was, uh, looking at what she sent and one of the things that she sent were, um, these old, uh, prescriptions and an old, uh, report card. And so, um, I've copied those cause I'm not going to use the originals. What I do with the originals like this, I thought I'd share with you guys. I have this amazing um envelope from Lori uh Fusco girl on the ridge on YouTube and Ridge Creations on Etsy <laughs> little plug there and it's got you know it's got the it's got the um big big envelope or big file folder I've got these that I stuck in there and then in these two little um little extra folders or half folders I think she might call them I have things that um, I don't want to use the originals I just want to make copies so like in this one I have a whole bunch of um, different uh, checks and uh, pay stubs and things like that uh, that that I just I just think I need to keep and and make copies of and then I can um, you know keep the originals so I am gonna grab the originals of these from Sally and tuck them in there maybe not because that's gonna be too too wide that's okay we can um, carefully put them in in the file I've got some other things here in the back too. Yeah, so just some things that I wanted to be able to keep and make copies of and just use the copies. I actually could put these in this envelope too, I think. They're about the right size. Okay, so, um, so yeah, I have to look at this. Oh yes, it's cool things. Oh, and these are the tally cards my friend gave me, and so I have made some copies of them already. Okay, so I'm gonna put the originals of these, I'm gonna set them in here so they're protected. And we'll just tuck all that back into the half file folder here, maybe. And then they're ready for me to grab and copy whenever I want to use them. Maybe yeah, that's going to go in the large one. Okay. So thank you, Lori, for these beautiful file folders, and I use them to store my vintage goodies. So um, let me set this out of the way, and then let's let's get started, kind of playing on this page. Sally had made these two super cute tags, so I wanted to include them. She sent this. 
you know, there's envelopes and other little goodies in here, um, playing cards and stuff, old photos. So, um, I just thought I would kind of get started and do Sally's and then I have three more to do. Don't know if I'll, um, do them. You know, maybe I'll do one more in this video. I don't know. We'll see how long they take. They might have their own videos. <laughs> but um, but I just finished a journal. And so I'm trying to do something that is, you know, my own journaling or something that kind of gives me a break in between the journals to sort of, I don't know, just kind of recharge the creative battery, I guess you would say. And so um, I had worked, I don't know if you saw the video, but I had worked some in my bunny journal, which I still have way more to do, of course. But um, I knew that I was behind on my, um, my journaling friends book so because I had these things just kind of sitting on top of the book and I want to get them in there and then I can use the things I don't use in this book I can use making my other journals and so that's that's fun too so my thought kind of was to maybe maybe cover this page with these or something I didn't know I have this little piece that was in the journal I should say too this journal was made by Diane Shaw at Shawcraft one on YouTube and she is um, my old barn door on Etsy maybe we'll cover this with this yeah those are like couldn't hardly be any more perfect in terms of size So I think I will do that. But I would like to do a little distressing around the edges. We'll make these look a little, make the copies look a little more like they're the originals. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, so I kind of have a play day today because I... Um, I'm going to play in this book a little bit and um, then tonight I have my Bunko group. Yay! We take a little break in the summer and since it's September we're back at it so that'll be fun. I miss seeing those ladies that are in that group so it'll be fun to get back together. Okay, so... I'm not sure what I'm doing over here. <laughs> Got distracted for a quick minute there. Okay, so let's just glue these down. And, uh, oh, this is... I've got two um, bottles of Fabri-Tac or Fabri-Fix, it's called, but it's the same thing as Fabri-Tac. And they're kind of at the end, but... They still have some in them, so I just want to keep using them, but they are they really are getting kind of low. So I do have a new, a new bottle, but I haven't broken into it yet. So this is going to have, it's going to have a little bit of a, a little bit of an overhang, but that's okay. Yeah, I'm excited to be back working in this again. Um, it's so fun to have some creations from from my junk journal peeps, my YouTube peeps. It's just fun to be able to um, have this as a book to go back and and look at and remember 
you know, remember the people that have been so nice and so generous and everything. So, so yeah. Okay, I like that. That's, that's fun. I was looking at it to see if there was a spot to maybe put her name, but I don't see one. So this was just, this was clipped on here. So we'll, we'll clip that on here once we're, once we're finished. And let's see what else, let's see what else is in here. So I know she had these couple little envelopes, which are darling. And they've got little Edith Holden in them. So I love those. Definitely want to use those. And these are cute little acetate pockets that she made. Super cute. And this one's just a little, like a school paper bag. And it's got little, these little things in it. Um, playing cards and these vintage, oh, there's a G. That's, that's fun. We should use that for sure. I love Mary Bright, so I'm going to pull that one out too. Here's another Mary Bright. Okay. So, and then these vintage photos are super cute. Look at this. I probably showed it in the Happy Mail when I first opened it, but aren't they fun? Just really cute. So, <clears throat> I don't know. I'll probably use those. This is just some like homemade washi tape type of stuff, so we'll use that. Just a card. Alzheimer's Association card, the old meeting house, Newark Museum um, in New Jersey. Gosh, I want to use that. My daughter used to live in um, Somerville, New Jersey, which was really close to Newark. I'd fly into Newark to see her. So that's a fun thing. I'm going to set these aside. What's this one? Oh, it's all in another language. That's kind of cool. Okay, and then I for sure want to incorporate her card where she wrote to me in there. This is just a pretty card. And SNH Green Stamps. Ooh, this is cool. I should have probably made a copy of this. Western Union. That's really cool. Oh, maybe we can pop that into an envelope or something. You know what? This does not have anything on the inside. I could like make a pocket just to tuck this in. That is super cute. That would be cute just tucked in a pocket, wouldn't it? Or something. Okay. <clears throat> little Dr. Seuss dress and then there's our piece of paper okay so the for sure's we know we want to use okay I wonder if I have a piece a uh, little um, just a scrap to put across there. I was thinking of Tim Holtz. Or something. Cause I maybe that would be good. It's about the right size. Is it about the right size? Yeah. And it's kind of neutral, so it won't take away from the letter. Okay. Let's see. Okay, and these are my... So 
this might be cute. I know I'm all over the place, but those might be cute right on the front of that. Okay, I like that. That's cute. Okay. Okay, okay, let's get on to this little pocket that I'm thinking. I think I want to be want to be able to see the back of this because of the new work and that being a memory for me. So I think we're going to do this right about here. And just give that a glue down on the the card. This kind of has a bumpy um, glittery thing on the pattern on the back. Let's see, let's just go right here. I'm going to let that dry and keep that to the side. Maybe let's make a hinge for that so that so that I can still see that. I do think I'm going to just take this and cover the Ben Beaver's busy day. <laughs> okay. make this a pocket too, couldn't I? And then there could be something tucked in there. Okay, so I'm going to take this page out. Once again, the beauty of the five ring binder is you can do that. not it's just copy paper so it's not super thick but it'll be okay I think okay and I'm going to turn it over and wipe off the glue in the holes of the page here. So we can take out a little glue there. There we go. Okay. And then we want a hinge for this. Yeah, and I think I can put it over far enough so that it doesn't the hole isn't an issue. So let's see what we've got to make. Hmm. How about we use this? Okay. bottles upside down the glue really wants to run out when I first opened it up jeez okay and then put that there ooh and then I had an idea along the hinge I think I'll put some of this 
washi that that Sally made. That'll be cute. Oh, it's just it's just fun to work in in your own journals too. I mean, when you're used to making things for other people, it's just really kind of fun to have a play with your own. Okay, I want this to be over from the hole. Like about like that. Okay. Okay. Then this little cool thing. I'm gonna push it that way. in here it's peeking out there okay so then let's open up that hinge a little bit Getting glue all over the place here um, and we could do I think there's enough to do the bottom here and then do one more. Maybe we'll just do kind of want to stop at the end of one of the little stamps. So let's see. Oh yeah. Super cool, Sally. Super cool. Love it. Put one up here too. Where am I at here? Right there. That's really fun tape. Okay. This glue kind of, yeah. Okay, cool. So that is done there. And this got got Wendy on this side. that hang over it's not gonna that's gonna be fine let's make a pocket out of that too well first of all let's um, get this glued down okay and then we'll do ah oh my gosh just bubbles out so I'm gonna need to wipe up that big glob of glue goodness okay so I'm gonna set that right here That's going to work great right there. Okay, I already have this clip because I've got the clip of Wendy's fun little um, booklet there. So I'm thinking about, where are they? My tags from Sally. I 
just love these. I think they're so, so cute. And this one has this little thing that opens up. And it's a little extra journaling spot. So cute. And then it's in this sleeve, this little acetate sleeve, now that I have it out. Here we go. Hmm. Just thinking, guys. Just thinking. I don't know. I like this. I like this up here. I don't know. I might have to give up my idea of my of my queens. I think I might give that idea up and go with that there. But I'm thinking about being this here and then and then some lace at the bottom. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Gosh I just love that other one too. I'm trying to figure out what to do maybe with it as well. And then that kind of ties these two together. Okay, let me find some lace to put at the bottom there. Let's see what we've got handy here. Um, thought maybe we'd have something in the snippet jar. We do. I don't know, this might be too, too long, but it'd be kind of cute. Let's do that. Okay, so just need some glue down here at the bottom. Hopefully it's not going to come out like crazy <laughs> from the get-go here. All right. Let that there, let that dry. All right, so that's fun. What to do down here? One of these two. I want the one with the Edith Holden in it. Look how cute that is. Yeah, she just really embellished that up. That's really cute. Gosh, I think I just might go like that with a clip. Oh, we've got this too to clip. Oh, that clips a bit much, I feel like. Let me get a regular paper clip. And just kind 
I clip those there. I was thinking about clipping this G here. I think I will. That's just sort of a sort of a hodgepodge o stuff. Hmm. I can just put that there. Just tuck it under the I like having the fuzzies out. Okay, am I even in camera with that? I kind of got it over, didn't I? Okay. <clears throat> so, thinking about where am I going to put Sally's name? I need my little punch. Um, got a little piece of paper over here that I'm just going to punch out right here. And I, think I might just. I might just attach that right onto there. Okay. Let me. Oh, I'm so sorry. I kicked the camera. Once again, my little space that I work in is so tiny, and I'm not. <laughs> okay. Let's look for my little Sharpie. And. Sally's name over here, so I spell her last name right. Okay, I need a, I need a unbumpy surface. Sally Turlington. Awesome. Okay. All right. And then if we just kind of put that right about there, like I want a point on more. Okay. Cool. a good amount of fabrifix on here because it's got to adhere over the top of the lace. Okay, give that a little hold. I feel like that goes nicely with her tag there too. So... Okay, I think, I think I might tuck these Mary Inglebright cards just in like that because I kind of want those with Sally's stuff. So I do love, do love Mary Inglebright. Holding that down. Okay, so let's get this back in here. This page. So Sally, thank you so much for the goodies and we've got, I believe, just got your page all done. Yay! So thank you so much for watching everyone and I'll be back with more of this or more of something else. So thanks for watching everyone. See you next time. Bye-bye.